beatdown. All right, so this episode specifically is pretty cool. I had Joe Riggs reach out to me via DM and go, Steve, love what you're doing over on the YouTube, but you got to cover my episode of Bully Beatdown. And I've had tons of you guys talking about it in the comments saying, you got to see what Joe Riggs does to this one guy. So we're getting into it. Meet Jordan, a loudmouth bully who calls himself the bore. He makes life miserable for twins Austin and Mika since one of them is going to nursing school. His real name is Jordan Rush. The bad part of it is that he's a cop's son, so he says he's at the top of the food chain. So Mayhem brings in MMA fighter Joe Riggs with a record of 34 wins and 12 losses to teach Jordan a lesson. Tonight's bully is the reason the high school sucks for so many people. On the football field, he calls himself the boar. Yeah. <laughs> he calls himself an animal. You know, is it that funny? <laughs> we think he's pretty boring the rest of the time. He's been picking on twins Austin and Micah since high school. They sent me a tape. Watch. Hey, Mayhem. I'm Micah. And I'm Austin. And we, and we look exactly the same. We got a bully problem. A big bully problem. His name is Jordan, and he really doesn't care about us. He really doesn't respect us at all. This is where we go to school. Uh, unfortunately, he's here too. This is where we go to school. What do you guys study? Science. Dude, we just can't seem to get away from this kid. Jordan makes fun of me because he thinks only women should be nurses, but I like it because I get to help people and I get to make that bank. Anytime Jordan sees me around campus, he just slams into me. About a year ago, he ended up pushing me into a volleyball pole and breaking my collarbone. I was playing with my brother and the ball rolled past the pole. So I go to pick it up and he comes behind me and pushes me right into the pole. And I hit my collarbone and end up breaking and ending my high school career. That's brutal. That's not good. Ma'am, Ma please, please give us your help. Make, make him squeal like a pig. Uh -huh. Harmonizing vocals. I can't get away from him. He gets away with everything he does. I know, that's terrible. What about you? I mean, why is he picking on you? Ma'am, I want to become a nurse. Oh. And he's... Ah, ah. Why is he picking on you? And he said, Mayhem, I want to become a nurse. Very, very dominant, assertive way of, of saying that. It's constantly harassing me for this. It's a, it's a respected profession, don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. This is too funny. He asked, he said, don't you agree? Like, he put Mayhem on the back foot and said, are you a bully, Mayhem? Or are you going to agree with me? See this? This is my city. My town. I run it. My dad, he's a cop in this town. Austin and Micah, they play volleyball. That's such a sport. Me, I play football. That's a man sport. When you hear that sound, you better start running. That's why they call me the boar. I will plow through people regardless of their size. I don't care how big or strong you are, I'm gonna you up. My That's the lamest fucking animal of all time. I'm a fucking boar, even if you're a lion. Oh. It, right, right, right. Why don't you choose a cooler animal? A boar of all things, man? A wild pig? That's the least intimidating animal I've ever heard of, almost. My dad's a cop. I can get away with whatever I want. That makes me top of the food chain. Why do they call you the boar? Because I'm an animal. I'm a beast. I run people over to get what I want. So you're the boar? What's the boar sound like? You really want to hear it? I think I do. You want to hear it? Let's go. <laughs> This is, a, this is a boar. This is a boar. <laughs> Scary, but really just a pig. Scary, but a pig. Do you want more? You know what? Nah, I think we got enough, bro. Go crazy. <laughs> That's not a boar. That's just not a boar. That's just objectively incorrect. No, 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 no. A boar squeal sounds like this. Whee! A like you didn't see it Ugh, a lot of you guys are talking that ish in the comment section there's no way you saw that it would have been impossible for you to see that leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications so your bully jordan might think that he runs his hometown but let me introduce you to the guy that's gonna run him all over my cage there he is hey jordan your dad ain't here to save you anymore I like that one, honestly. You know why? I don't feel like it was too sensationalized. It was to the point. You felt it was real. Intimidating. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. 
Yeah, we live in a small town. It's not the cop, so he just hides behind me. Really? Yeah. What kind of things do to you guys? Uh, for one, he busts my collarbone. Really? Yeah. I mean, my nursing profession, completely disrespectful to it. In high school, <laughs> I used to... So, so severe, like one guy's like he he broke my clavicle bone. What about you? He insulted my the, the degree I'm getting in school. Joe's like, all right, let's focus on this guy. <laughs> pick on guys and pick on guys. So okay. I'm used to this. I wanna, I wanna kick his head off. So right. I got you guys back. Oh, wow. Fair. Two guys screaming. I love it. Wow. Diesel Riggs coming in really light. He was fighting at 70 at the time, so it, it makes sense he would keep his body weight. I mean, that's actually pretty huge for 70. Okay. I even made the matchup. Wait. You know what? Why waste time? If you've ever seen a diesel truck run over livestock, then you know exactly how this fight is going to go. Advantage? Riggs! Let's bring out the bully! The boar, but we're gonna make him squeal like a pig. It's there he is, the boar. Ah! I love it. Now, obviously, I don't know the backstory to this episode particularly. I don't know if it's real, fake. He's selling it in such a good way. I just think he's a little off his rocker a little bit, so it feels real. Like, he's just a guy who's out of touch for the most part. You know, with that being said, it's hard for me to believe that these three guys aren't in on it and just trying to make a quick 10 Gs, you know? It feels real, man. I'd like to know. Hey. Hey, if you can get a hold of these guys, or if they come across this video, because I know from time to time the bullies have gotten contact with me, I'd love to uh, connect and see if this is the real deal, if this is actually a real bully or not. I don't know if that's possible. Do we have anything to say to the one mind another? of a child. You guys made a mistake, call me out. Hey, 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 this guy hey. Ass. Daddy's not here anymore. <laughs> Guy yeah, he says, ah, damn, that's a true statement. He's like a little kid, walks away. Jordan, last chance. Get out of here and I won't air the episode. Got a chance? No. Well, if you're ready, let's bring out the fighter. Look at the nervous jitter bounce, but he, he, he's really selling into it. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's too dumb to know he's in trouble. The fake grimace, too, is just making me want to see him get very badly hurt. Joe Riggs says casually walking in to crush someone. Ah, the moment you saw the slight realization, I love it. That's what we wait for. But there was a slight little nod like, oh, wait, he is going to hurt me. He's going to actually hit me. All right, let's see what it's all about, baby. We got five minutes, longer rounds. That's it. Let's go take him down. Big takedown, big takedown. Joe locks up the double underhook position, gets the outside trip right to the mount position. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, kind of annoying with the two kids getting this involved. I don't know if the producer are having them do that to kind of make it more saucy and energized, but it's just like, if this is real, like, you guys are right? You guys didn't have the boss actually step in there. And if you're playing characters, then it's just funny. Strategy by the bully. See Joe, uh, Joe Riggs there going from mount to the unbelly brief. We're going back to the mount, transferring over to the triangle position. Remember, five minutes to work, a lot longer than the old rounds that they used to get. Which is sort of triangle. Dismounts. Oh, no. He's gonna get the strangle. Yep. Take him down, take him down. He tries to lift him up. It's pretty strong. But he's gonna oh, get strangled man, for his efforts. Armbar right there. Oh, no. Guy, that's when you know the kid doesn't know what he's doing. He tapped out on the mat, so there's no way for Joe to even know that he's tapping. Always tap out if you're new to Jiu Jitsu, tap out on your training partner or opponent. Now, what's interesting about this is it's a longer round, it's five minutes, so. <laughs> Joe has time to work, and this kid fought that triangle off for a long time. Let's see his ego now. These guys. Collar tied. Oh, man, doesn't know how to combat the underhook. Oh, he's done. He's broken. That one big lift that he did from the front triangle was all he had. He's getting rear strangled. Strangled. 
Rear strangle for Riggs. Just slam him. him Another up. outside trip, right to side control. The takedown. Kimura Machine coming up. Right American Ew, instead. Oh, up, giving up his back. He's going to get rear strangled right in. The right hand slides right under the neck, right to the rear strangle. There we go, Joe Riggs with a typical standing guillotine. If you don't want to feel as defenseless as this guy, sign up to my Patreon. Tier 2 and Up's going to give you exclusive access you won't see on YouTube. But if you want to see these YouTube videos a few days early, then you can sign up for Tier 1. It's a great way to support the channel. Let's get back into it. Crushing his soul. I mean, plenty of time to work for Riggs. Three minutes. Side plumb. Take him down. One, uh, outside trip. The bully's gonna do what the bully does, which is expose his back and give up the rear strangle yet again. Yeah. Just crushed him. Just crushed him. Look at him, look at him. Might ought to quit right now. Or you may squeal like a piggy. Hey, George, how's that beat down feel, boy? You want to fight him? You want to fight him? It's a dummy, this guy. I can't, you just said, you're a dummy. Ready? Ready? Get up! Crush him, Riggs. Hard inside low kick. Crack him, crack him, crack him. Hard inside low kick. That sounded terrible. Ooh, miss. Oh, oh, Man, big right hook. Straight left hand, right hook off the, off the straight left. Oh! <laughs> Oh, those are heavy punches, man. Those are heavy punches. <laughs> Talked all this shit before the bell rung, right? Get him up. Oh, man. Bombs, bro. Bombs. Bombs. Oh, oh, man. That right hook. Wow, that hurt him. That was beautiful. He went inside low kick, off balanced the bully, created a flank angle off the left shoulder, and then threw the right hook off that. Beautiful. <laughs> Wobbled him bad there. Put him right in the side of the head off that inside low kick, which again created that off balance. Hey, 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 hey. You think he's gonna quit? You think he's gonna quit? Gonna... Hey. Beautiful. Bombs. Bombs. You did it oh, I love it. I love it. My bad, Jordan. Beating him. Maybe he might make it. Man, 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 man. Oh, that right hook. Hard, hard shot. Hard shot. Melted him down. Straight up. Hot fire melted him down. Love it. You signed the dotted line, my friend. Good job, John McCartney. There we go. Throw him back out there to the wolves. Go ahead. Let's see how the board does against Diesel. Oh my god, he went over. Ooh, trying to come back. Oh no. This could be bad right now. Oh no. Oh, love it. No one ever. Yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Now, I may have been a little bit of harsh in this video, but I don't know what it is about the demeanor of that bully or actor, whatever you want to call him, but just the way he carried himself and stayed so loyal to the character that, I mean, I enjoyed that. That's probably my least liked bully of all of the bullies that we've covered. Well, you got choked out five times in the first round, and, well, you laid down in the second round. So, all $10,000 goes to the twins, Austin and Micah. It is fake money. I mean, they get paid 10 for Besides forever. the money, you guys got to watch your bully finally get bullied. Anything you want to say to these guys now that this is done? You know what, guys? I'm sorry. 
I didn't realize what I put you guys through. Awesome, no, it's probably not real, right? But if it is, that's a 180, right? You get the money, they deserve it. Or he was never bullied before. Tried giving him my all. He's just too powerful. I realize now what I put Austin and Micah through. Being a nurse, playing volleyball, that's fine things to do. Shouldn't go in for that. Usually I unleash the boar, but now the boar's been unleashed. Uh, that was a great episode. I would put that in legendary status as towards the top of the tier in terms of bully beatdown episodes that we've covered on the channel. If you want to see Joe Riggs fight, I did a whole playlist that I'm going to link at the end of this video. It's called Bellator Fight Masters. You'll see him fighting a bunch of other pro MMA fighters. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to watch any of the shows that I cover, click one of the playlists. They're about to pop up now.